Welcome Zoro Cats to the very first episode of 200,000 Times Closer. We are going to be exploring and surveying the world that we live in and illustrate the nuance of everyday objects. Starting today, of course, with the disco ball suit that has become infamous throughout YouTube. Uh, from the intro, we're bringing that in to do a bit of repair. And this is our tool, our microscope. 1,000 times magnification. Then we have our magnifying glass, 8 times magnification. And when paired with our jeweler's glasses, we have then 200,000 times of magnification. As you can see, this is totally a farce. But it's going to be entertaining to say the least. We're going to start right away. So put your hats on and take out your scarves and walk across a cold winter valley. You don't have to do that because we're going to be starting right here. We will de-equip for our jeweler's glasses are not necessary at the moment, but we'll keep our scope handy because it is the one scope to rule them all. <laughs> The now famous disco ball suit is in need of new sleeves altogether. I'm going to be going in with the microscope here and we're going to figure out how to separate the threads without damaging the disco ball suit. So we have our microscope on the fabric here I do apologize if you feel at any time that you're getting dizzy. Please turn the video off and investigate. My hand is behind the fabric as you can see. There's one of the sequins that make up uh, the shimmer of this, this item. The linkage. So you can see to the regular eye this is quite difficult to decipher what is the thread I'm removing and what we need to maintain. Very delicate stuff. Without further ado, I'm going to go into the affected area. I do want to start under the arm in case we cause any damage whatsoever. Okay, so you see this is where it becomes a bit of a confusion. You have uh, layers here of the fabric intertwined there's one of the sequins here. I'm just looking for the thread by itself, which seems out of place. I'm right in the space here. This is one of the threads I'll be removing. I just want to get up and close with it. See how thin it is. I want to get up nice and close. That is a human hair. Danielle, damn it! That is a Danielle hair. That is not a thread. Okay. So, back to the affected area. We're bringing it out, and there's a sequin and some of the fibers. Now, if we come down this way, this is towards the outside edge of the fabric. This is something else here, isn't it? But we can see, in essence, what we're going to be removing. I'm going to look for a concentrated area of the thread, and that seems to be right here. And I believe that is the part we're removing, if you can see what I'm talking about. Perhaps. Perhaps. So these are all the same here. You see that same linkage, but right here, this is the difference. Let's see if we can manipulate it. Okay. So for now, we'll put the microscope down. Alright, now I'm getting my tool and I'm bringing my microscope right into the area 
All right. But more importantly, I'm getting my tool in sight. The seam ripper. All right, maybe we'll do that first here. There's the head of the tool. I want to get it in a way where I can manipulate it as needed. So this is the area we're focusing on. There's the tool you see here. And I'm just looking for the thread that we will be removing. None of those We're off base. Bringing that in. There it is. So what I need to do is get, oof, get my tool right there. And bring out that thread. See, I've got it right where I want it. So we're bringing that out. I want to take a look at this section here on the outside of the thread ripper, the seam ripper. I've got much more than I want. If I can get just to the right here, just to the right of that, you see how large this is compared to what I'm working on which is the frustration. Now that we've located it, see I have so much more than I want so we'll have to decipher here what we need but it is contained there. So I'll just bury that here. Work on this side. What I did was I sacrificed it. I just cut right through what I had there selected. I'm going to try and pull it apart on this side to show what I'm working on. It's under the arm after all. Everything is just fibers. Just It's a nest of fibers. In my first surgery, by the way. I hope that it's impressive to you. And if it isn't, then, well, we are going to be doing more exploratory things. This is a nice way of introducing the microscope and just playing around. But in the future, we're going to be testing all of the things that we see in the world and love. Uh, video games, music, uh, vinyls, clothing, we're going to be testing foods and this is only a toy this is a mere child's toy compared to the equipment that is on its way and we're just hoping to shed some light on the world that we live in and make it a little bit easier to understand you know your success is primarily based on your willingness to nerd out over something as I saw in a, a meme it was a child, he had a microscope or a magnifying glass hooked up to his computer screen. And the, the caption read, how did you get so good at sniping? So he's using the magnifying glass to enhance the work he's doing because he cares that much. The curiosity is the driving factor. And here we have the thread, I see it right there. The issue being to get in and actually operate 
on camera is near impossible, but we're doing our best. And there we have it. That's the thread that I need. So I'm just lifting up here and cutting it. So that should open up a bit of this section. We'll go just a bit, a touch over as well, see if I can get another one. Because I began sewing and, and ended sewing in this part. So there should be two. Here's another. Two lines across, if you would. And bringing it up because it's getting out of focus. There we have it. So this is the thread. And we've opened up a space here. So now we're starting the process of removing the sleeve and I have the second sleeve uh, already prepared at which time I will sew on the second sleeve and when you see me in the intro because my sleeves were up here they shall now be the proper length. Uh, I didn't want to damage this because it did take a great amount of time to to complete and also it's as uh, iconic now for us here at Zorro Cats, we're going to continue this common thread of having us shine in the bright lights of life and, and, and hope and keep everybody guessing. All right, and then we have the glasses, which are 25 times. All right, so I can get 25 times closer. <clears throat> then I have this magnifying glass and I can get eight times closer. So a thousand times twenty-five times eight, which I know isn't how this really works effectively. That's how uh, we get the name two hundred thousand times closer. We're going to be exploring into the microscopic world and we need as much magnifying power as possible. So, excuse me while I delve in here and... Oh. A neutrino! Would you look at that? Oh my word. So we're going to get in here. Just while I have it available, I want to see one of these vinyl records. What we have is here, The Beatles, 1967 to 1970. Here Comes the Sun is the, the leading track. Alright. So we'll take a look at the vinyl. Oh yes. So here's here comes the sun. You can see it. I can almost hear it. I don't know about you, I can almost hear the music. I am uh here come I can't really sing it. I feel like that would be infringement. But we're gonna take a look going in as close as we can, 200,000 times closer on Here Comes the Sun. Now what you folks, remember, you're only seeing a thousand times closer. But me here, I'm seeing a hundred thousand, two hundred thousand times closer. Yes. Because I brought my special equipment interesting so you see here there's a scratch upon it this isn't the best record actually if I'm being totally honest it was trash picked Now, if you think this is interesting, I have news for you. We also have here coming another microscope. Now, that microscope goes 2,000 times the human eye optically. And we shall be using that even to go further for a super segment I call 
400,000 times closer. So keep your ears to the ground for that. But here we have, here comes the sun by the Beatles. And <clears throat> so just to give you an idea, I have a laser pointer here. You can see the fractals, huh? You can see those fractals of the laser. We're going to be turning off the light on the microscope and we're using the laser now to shine light and get an idea of what we're really working with. Infrared scan. You can see a little better the texture the direct light across the surface which I find to be quite interesting. Thank you for joining us on uh, the first of many 200,000 times closer episodes for Zorro Cats and be sure to write in the comments what you would like to see.
Thank you for watching the first episode of 200,000 Times Closer. We are looking forward to playing with video game items coming up soon. The games, newer and older formats, consoles, controllers, the tools of the trade. And we'll be getting an up-close look at these things. We are departing for now, but I look forward to seeing you again very soon. If you thought this video was magnificent, then be sure to click the like button. You can always share. Be sure to subscribe by clicking the icon in the credits, and as always, my best to you.